I definitely have to be honest here, this game is starting to grind a little bit on me, but it's only because of a lack of any way of being able to go really quickly here. You know what I mean? It's just, you have to wait for three of the three individual animations to play out for the monster to explode, and it's just kind of, I hate to say it, but it's just a little boring that way. But the game does keep you guessing with constant puzzles and new dungeons with every turn, new monsters and everything, new bosses even. It's definitely enough to keep you coming back for more. It's just, you know, it's a good game, not an amazingly great game. And that can oftentimes make a difference for a game. But it's, it's thoroughly enjoyable, enjoyable and definitely worth your time. So yes, I have used Prismatic Super extensively, and it seems to not do giant slot. Maybe I mean giant slot. It's kind of puzzling. I guess we think that I'm going to be attacked by a giant slot machine. Yeah, a giant slot. got each individual corner cleared out, I'll start exploring the hallways and opening up doors, which will, again, involve a whole bunch of monster fights. And in case you're wondering why I didn't do anything except for attack, even though there is a Wraith right there, that's because... Wraiths, apparently, according to the game engine, are not undead. Even though they should be, they drain and everything. Apparently the game does not consider them to be undead, because if you try turning them, it won't work. Hmm. I'm going to have to rest after this entire because we're almost out of spell points. I might not even have enough to be able to cast a shoulder spell. But it doesn't matter because they just seem to be running away from us. Stuff. 
However, killing red dragons does not further the plot, all it just does is give you experience. And this is definitely further the plot. Head to north, finish this group of monsters. And this should do it for everyone in the corners. Again, for some reason, the game does not consider fans to be undead. I consider the mismatch uh, tag, but whatever. See what I mean? No effect. I'm gonna try chancing the thing with all that one single casting. And it pays off. Fun place to go though. Anywhere from 5,000 to 1,600 experience per encounter. The only thing you really want to watch out for whenever you're out here is the Dark Rider, which would be one of the four great beasts in the game. I know I call it a great beast, but he's not really a beast per se as a person. Um, what he'll do is he'll just essentially surround you and ask you, challenge you to a duel. You can say yes, and he'll attack you. You can say no, and he'll attack you. So. You're pretty much stuck either way you go there. And the problem is that he is very, very fast. And if he kills off one person inside of your party, for some reason, he automatically gets another turn in. And it can result in just him getting a whole bunch of turns after turns after turns, and you never getting a chance to fight back, and he'll slay your entire party outright. Very annoying to have it happen. I've only ever beaten him once, and that was with using the save states. The only other way I think I could do it is just by going out and boosting the party through the worthy, worthy quest and doing that over and over again until you get bored with it. Alright, got some interesting stuff I'm looking forward to using, but right now is not busy time. Alright. All of these corners should be cleared. Hmm. I'm really not sure what to do. Um, give me a second to pause it and look at a map. Alright, we are going to head out to each individual corner of the map. Apparently inside of those little court sectioned off walls, there is nothing but a whole bunch of monster encounters. And we don't want to bother ourselves with that. That's just a waste of time. We do, however, want to head through here. And in about a minute or so, I'm going to get cut off, but I will continue this from where we leave off. Stag, scorpions, not much else of interest. Cast a prismatic spray. And yes. Whenever this finally stops, I will continue this later on. Um, from where we left off, even. And we will continue down these little spiral corners, and we will search for what's at the end of them. It differs at the end of each corner, and there's something different at each individual end. And, no, not a room spell. I not what I'm going to do. Be careful whenever you go to select bolt so you don't overshoot and accidentally pick the room spell. Because all it really does is it just lets, it lets everybody be attacked at the same time. Trap this and we'll be on our way. 